Hi everyone, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, the user dir command on Linux system. Um, this command is going to allow us to have users that are just regular users on our particular uh, system serve their websites or web pages to uh, to whoever wants to get to them. And then we're going to just show how that all kind of ties together. Um, Initially, we're going to start off by taking a look at our HTTP config file. And you can see that we have this little block on the user dir here. Right now, it's disabled. Uh, and you see it's commented out down here to, with the word public underscore HTML after it. Anytime the keyword disabled is used after uh, user dir, then the user dir is just turned off, period. System-wide, it doesn't work. Um, by default, it's turned off. If we put a name after that file, uh, for example, here it's user dir public underscore HTML, then we can all of our users will have a, or can have a folder called public underscore HTML, and they're uh, home folder that will be served through the website by using the tilde and their username. Now note this file or folder I should say uh, won't be created by default. So um, there's a couple of little gotchas that we'll run into as we go through this but I'll walk you through them. It shouldn't take too long. So we're going to start off by changing to the super user. So once we're the super user, what we're going to do is we're going to go and edit this file, the HTTP config file. So very simply, we're going to go to where the user dir stuff is. We're going to disable. We're going to comment out the disabled part, and we're going to stick with the default of just user dir. So I'll just save that file just to show that things don't exist at the moment. We'll just load our web browser. and We'll go to localhost. Make sure our localhost is displaying your test page. Then we'll go to tilde Edward B, which is the account that I'm looking for, or I have set up. Now you see right now it says the link is broken. It doesn't know how to get there. So what we're going to do is, well, part of the reason the link's broken right now is that we haven't restarted our web server. So we're going to do that now. We're going to restart the web server. Web server is restarted. Now when I hit refresh, I get a different error. Instead of having a broken link error, I now have a forbidden error. The reason I have this forbidden error is that uh, this is a rights issue that's going on. So I want to have to come back up here and I want to say, well, what's going on? If I go to the Edward B directory, You'll notice that if I find out what the directory permissions are on it, it's set to that only the user I'm logged in as, so only I'm allowed to go through this system. Now, super user can go through it, but the web user is not a super user. He's just an every average, everyday user. So what needs to happen here is the um, execute bit has to be turned on in the other two spots for the web user to be able to go into this folder to be able to read stuff and move through it. I'm going to do that using the chmod command. And now you can see that, okay, I have this execute bit turned on, so let's see what happens when I refresh over here. Now it says my link is broken. So I go, well, why is my link broken? Well, if I look in my home folder, I don't happen to have a public... I have a public folder, but I don't have a public HTML folder. So I'm going to create a folder called public underscore HTML. When I refresh this time, now I have a forbidden error again. Um, the main reason I have a forbidden error here is that uh, by default right now, I don't have the rights to... Uh, to do a directory listing. So if I come back to over here, I'm going to just create a, 
an index file for myself. So a blank file called index at HTML. Then I'm going to edit that file. And when I edit the file, I'm going to just make it a very simple edit. Um, Edward B's index page. So I have a file called Edward B's index page.htm. I'll save that there. I'm still going to create another file uh, now, too. And this one's going to be uh, just page.html. And this one, I'm just going to do a similar setup. Call it my page file. And I'm only doing this for uh, illustrative purposes. Obviously, if you're doing this in a production system, you want to use a, uh, all the proper settings for your HTM files. So if I go to refresh this now, you see that I do get Edward B's index page. And if I go to page.html, I'll get the, the my page file. There are the two files I just created. Now, if I come back to my folder here and I remove my index page and I refresh I'm going to get this forbidden rule again and the reason for that is that by default the web server will load the index.html page but it won't go and give you a directory listing uh, in part two of this video you'll see how the directory listing for that works um, I'll even show you right at the end of this video where the uh, where the, that part of the uh, the directives come from. Uh, and here if I go to page.html because I'm asking for that page directly and it's not doing a listing it still shows me that page. So just keep in mind that this is the case when you're working with this stuff. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just add a new user. So we're going to add a user called test user. We're going to set a password for that user. Be careful when you're using this. Make sure you use PASSWD and then you may ensure that you always put the username at the end of it. You don't want to end up changing your super user's password by mistake. Now I'm going to just set test user to be the password. It's going to get upset with me and say it's too easy a password to use, but um, when I retype it, it's going to take it anyway. In a production system, if you get that warning, you should really change your password again. Uh, now, so I have a test user created. I'm going to try to go to test user. I get the same thing with the permission issue. So I'm going to come here, go to the test user directory. I see that, oh look at that, I don't have any execute permissions for the web server to be allowed to come in to look at my folders. And now when I do my listing I see that, oh, the execute bit's there. I go back to having the same error I had before now that the link is broken. And the reason that link is broken is that there is no public underscore HTML folder, so I'm going to make it. Now, when I refresh, I'm going to get my forbidden error again. I want to just move into my public HTML folder. I want to create an index of the HTML page. When I refresh now, I'll actually see the content that's in that page because I made it the index page. Now, wh what I've done here, I do have one little outstanding issue in that if you look at it, my public folder is actually owned by the root user and not by the user himself. So if you do set up a, a folder for somebody, you need to make sure you give them the rights to 
upload, make changes to it. Um, this is what you'd normally do, and it's not ch mode, it's ch own. So you're going to change the ownership using the change own command, minus capital R, which is for uh, that folder and all the folders beneath it. Uh, the t username dot the username again. That's the username in his group. Uh, each user has a group. Um, and then finally, we're going to give the directive or the direction of which folder we want to apply this to, which in this case is the public HTML folder. When we do our listing again, you see that the test user now owns these files and uh, they're able to go and put their stuff on the web. Also note that when you go to go to their sites, it's going to be whatever your local host site name is, and then it's going to be the tilde sign. So that's uh, shift and the key right before you get to one on most keyboards. Um, all right, uh, that just about does it for this video. The one final thing I did want to show you is the directives part here. So you'll see down here, and in the next video, we'll, in the part two of this video, um, we'll actually turn these off, and you can see how these rules change how our directory, uh, our user directory does its thing. All right, I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video, guys. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.